Good morning, friends. Welcome to 30 Minutes with Mandy for Tabata Monday. This is where we do Tabata drills for the whole class. We're gonna work for four minutes on each exercise that we do. Um, it will either be one exercise or two very similar exercises. We'll work for 20 seconds, rest for 10, work for 20 seconds, rest for 10, until we've done eight to 20 second sets of that exercise or those similar exercises. If you feel that something we're doing is a little too challenging for you, then I encourage you to slow down a little bit and take your time, take the modification. Um, if you need more of a challenge, then pick up the pace, okay? Our first drill is gonna be a little cardio warm-up drill, so we're actually gonna have four different exercises that we will repeat. First 20 seconds, we're gonna spend doing our mat shuffle, and we're gonna get started in three, two, one, here we go. So we get down in our little squat, we just shuffle the length of the mat like so. If a little squat doesn't work for you, you can stand all the way up and do it like this. But those of us who want a little bit more, we're gonna get down in that little mini squat, about a quarter of the way down. Get those hands up. All right, we're gonna rest for 10. And then we have a squat jump coming up. If the jump part doesn't work for you, you can just do the squat. Here we go, butt down, get it up. If you need to just do the squat, then by all means, just do the squat. Then exhale on the way up. Move those arms. Rest for 10. Next up, we have our mat hops. So we're gonna hop on the mat. I'll show you how I'm going to do it, and I'll give you a couple of different options. I'm going laterally, like so. If that doesn't work for you, you can go forward, like so. Or you can go one foot at a time, like so. So lots of different options there. Last, we're doing jacks. Options on this one. Here is your traditional jack. If you need to modify, you can go here, like this. Or you can do them the way that I do them, feet forward and back. Don't forget to breathe. Rest for 10. We're gonna do all that one more time. Starting with our back shuffles. Ready? Let's go. Keep the chest up. Keep the hands up. Don't let, don't let the arms just dangle, right? Keep those hands up. And breathe it out. Next up, we have our squat jump. Sitting the hips back behind you, keeping the chest up. Let's go. Take the jump out if you need to, just do the squat. You're gonna need a chair or a stair, something to step up onto today. We're gonna be doing step ups. So, find something from around the house to do your step up onto you. It could be a sturdy chair, a sturdy coffee table. It can be your stairs. And one more round of jacks. If you absolutely don't have something to do step ups onto, you will be doing forward lunges instead. Almost there. All right. So now is the time to go get your chair or 
your little table or your stool. Um, or maybe you're moving your setup over to your stairs, something along those lines. And we're gonna begin to start. We're gonna do 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other side, okay? We're gonna get started in three, two, one, here we go. We're stepping up, back down. This foot stays on the chair. It stays on your surface. We're moving up, we're not moving forward, right? We're pushing into the heel that's on the surface. We'll rest for 10, switching sides. We're ready, let's go. If you want more of a challenge, you can hold a pair of weights while you do this or a dumbbell. Object of the game is to not push forward into the knee. We're moving upward instead, so we're pushing through the glute and the heel. Rest for 10, going back to the other side. So again, pushing through the glute, pushing through the heel, and we're propelling ourselves upward instead of forward. This is how you should try, always try to walk upstairs. It'll save your knees in the long run. Rest for 10. Go on to the other side. Let's go. Up. Try not to rely too much on the foot that's pushing you off the floor. Sure, it's gonna help you out a little bit but we're really trying to focus on putting the glute to work, right? The quads and the glutes are working really hard in this exercise. Halfway there. And the knees are not. Let's go. Be mindful not to plop down. Ease yourself down. Nice and controlled. Push through that glute. Rest for 10. Go on to the other side. Something that we're really used to doing when we're in a hurry and we have to step up is we push into that ball of the foot and we push the knee forward, right? What we want to do is Instead, push through the heel, push through the glute, move upward. Try to keep that heel, the knee over the heel, not letting it go past the toes. One more round on each side. We're ready. Let's go. Move those arms, you're not holding weights. Don't just let the arms dangle like this. Move them with you or hold them up. All right, last round, these guys. Pushing into that heel, pushing into that glute. Let's go. Listen, not doing it. 
You're doing push-ups. Okay. And you'll vary up your hand position. Maybe do staggered hands, wide, narrow, etc. Okay. Alrighty. We're gonna start with an upright row. That's gonna be our first row. <coughs> we're going in three, two, one. Here we go. We're here and up and down. Elbows are higher than the wrists. We're not shrugging the shoulders. We stop right at the collarbone. Big exhale. Rest for 10. And then we're gonna to go to a bent over row, narrow. Elbows are grazing the ribs. We're in that hip hinge deadlift position. And here we go. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Elbows grazing the ribs. Hands are in hammer position. Rest for 10. Then we're going to go wide. Palms are going to face behind us. Elbows are going to come out. Bent over. Here we go. Like so. Again, squeezing the shoulder blades together but keeping the shoulders out of the ears, right? And keeping the back nice and flat. Rest for 10. And then we're gonna have an underhanded row. So palms face out, elbows graze the ribs again. Here we go. Back is flat, core is tight. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as we come up. Rest for 10. We're going to do all of that one more time. Back to the top of our upright row. Here we go. Weights to stop at the collarbone. Elbows remain higher from the wrists, and shoulders stay away from the ears. It's not a shrug. It's not this, it's this. Rest for 10. Then we're gonna go wide in our hip hinge. Palms facing behind you. Let's go. Curling and up. 
squat curl and up and curl and up. Send those hips back behind you. Keep the chest up. Rest for 10. And then we're gonna squat and press. Weights live here while we're squatting. We squat, we press. If you need to go down to one dumbbell for the press, that's okay. If you don't have any dumbbells at all, you know the drill. <sighs> Use what you can find. And if you don't have anything, you're still doing that movement with us. <sighs> Squat and curl. Ready? Let's go. <sighs> Keeping that chest up. Taking the butt down. I'm doing a rotational curl. You can do that with me, or you can hammer curl on your way up like this. Rest for 10. And then we're back to that squat with overhead press. We're ready. Let's go. Exhale on the way up. toes if you need to in order to keep the knees from coming forward. And rest for 10. Last round of our squat and press. Ready. between a, a skull crusher and a tri pump. If you don't have weights, you know the drill. Use something, anything from around the house. Um, and if you don't have anything, if you're doing tricep dips or crab walking, just find a good tricep exercise for yourself. You can also do this with your band if all you have is a band, okay? Bring that little timer with me. We'll start with our skull crushers. And we're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Bend and extend. I am holding a bridge. You don't have to, that's optional. But we're bending and straightening. Bend, straighten. Rest for 10, and then we're doing our tri pump, right? I'm gonna hold my bridge again like that. 
elbows at 90 degrees, and we pump. Make sure that you're not letting the weight weigh your wrist down. So curl your hand inward, and pump it. Almost there. Rest for 10, and then we are back to the skull crushers. side of bicycles. So we're going to stay right here on the mat. We've got 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other. Crunching the opposite elbow to me. Okay? Opposite elbow to me. Advanced version, you're sitting all the way up. Modified version, you're crunching. Okay? Going in three, two, one. So we're here. Take the leg out to hover. Hover. Modified version, we're here. Set the foot down and crunch like so. Get your twist in. Rest for 10. And then we're going to the other side. Ready. Let's go. Pull that belly button into the floor to pull your body upward. Rest for 10. I'm resting my fingers lightly behind my ear, just my fingertips, right? 
If you need to support your head with your whole hand like so, that's okay. Just be sure that you're not actually pulling the head when you sit up. Make your abs do that work. Your abs are pulling your body up. A good clue into whether or not you're putting too much pressure on the head and the neck is where's your chin? Is your chin tucked into your chest? It shouldn't be. The rest for time. We are halfway through these. Two more rounds on each side. Your chin should be pointing toward the ceiling when you're down. And it should just stay neutral when you're up. Rest. Here's our last 20 seconds of work, y'all. This is it. We're almost done for today. Ready. Let's go. Thank you for being with me today. As always, it is my pleasure and my honor. I hope you guys have a fabulous week. And I will see you tomorrow at the same time.